usually having kids dance around my legs in the kitchen, so <laughs> this will be interesting. I'm Mindy Garley. Um, we're established with Glass Hill Bakery. Today we made vegan cheeses, um, dairy-free options, smoked um, coconut gouda. Um, my cheeses have, the, one of them has coconut in it, coconut milk, and this option that I've made has cashews. Other ones that we've tried and done are, we've done some fermented cheeses, and those are equally as nummy, but take more time. Um, so a lot of them are done with your higher fats and your nuts and um, almonds. Really good and nutritious for you and, and nummy. <laughs> we are plant-based. I can't say we're fully vegan. Um, we still do things like leather, <laughs> but um, we are a plant-based family. Um, I have six children going on seven and we've been raising them that way their whole life. My personal history and connection with food would have to be I grew up in a family with amazing women who cooked wonderfully. My grandma was an amazing cook, my aunts were amazing cooks and um, we just, you know, I was so inspired by them and how well they, they could do things and so as I became a mom and wanted to know more about health um, I found that, you know, our Creator wants us to be healthy and so a lot of my choices for plant-based diet is that I, um, I knew that that was what would be better for my family and I wanted to be healthy for my family and I wanted my family to be healthy and so we've made this option. Um, this is why we do what we do um, and that's kind of my history as I go along in life. I had started out you know, with my grandma cooking amazing and then me becoming a mom and wanting to be able to make amazing food for my children, but not just that, I wanted them to be healthy and, and to be able to you know, glorify God with what we do. You know, my favorite part about making um, plant-based foods or the vegan cheeses is that I know that it's, it's healthy for us. Um, I'd, I've studied a lot about different um, animal products and their effects on our body, and so I've wanted to be able to try to find something that would be um, still a substitute for our children, for our family, um, but with that, be fun and desirable still, not just go without. And so in the curve of it all, I've enjoyed creating and processing it. I've, I'm an artistic person, so that was that's fun for me to be able to have that challenge. And, and in the end, it's really, from you can see, not very hard to do. <laughs> so um, that would be my favorite aspect about making it, is just um, knowing that I'm giving my kids a good quality food. This process just takes some time. <laughs> this area is such a healthy, diverse area. There's so many people that love food and cook well and 
Um, living here has just inspired me to want to continue doing what I'm doing. Um, I've met a lot of great people that have a desire to eat the same way me and my family eat. And um, so we've, we've come front with the Glass Hill Bakery to share that passion and love with others. I suppose we want to share our love and passion with others because we can see that that passion is in the community for a, an alternative option. We've had a lot of people who have just been excited about what we're doing and you know, wishing that they had these options in other areas people coming from lacrosse. Like, they don't even have this in lacrosse. Man, we love Viroqua, Viroqua's great. <laughs> so that's really fun that we can contribute to the um, uniqueness of Viroqua and their diversity. I just have to keep stirring until it starts to pull from the pan and it gets shiny, <laughs> so then it won't be much longer. My hope for how food can continue to be part of the local culture is that Somehow we can inspire others to want to choose healthier options and to continue um, making the food an important part of the, the, the community because ultimately health leads to diet and if we have a good diet, um, we're a healthier community for it. <laughs> so I just hope that our food choices here in the Vernon County Viroqua area is um, of a positive impact to others who come and visit us. That's it. <laughs> really simple. <laughs> um, and then that'll just sit for a little bit, cool off, and then we'll put it in the fridge and it'll do its hardening. What thickens the cheese and makes it smooth or shiny or able to be meltable is things like kappa carrageenan and tapioca starch. Um, the kappa carrageenan is derived from a seaweed, so people would be like, ew, gross, but seaweed is really, really good for you. Um, and so you're just adding that goodness <laughs> into your food as well. Um, so those are your thickeners. I've added things like nutritional yeast, which is loaded with B vitamins, and the different seasonings like onion powder and garlic powders. Um, I mentioned the uh, liquid smoke which gives it that smoky flavor. And some of the cheeses I've made don't even call for, you know, half of this stuff. Um, it's more of a fermented cheese that has a little bit of a, a sharp flavor to it. These are just kind of your funner ones that are really great with crackers and chips and you can serve at parties and yeah.
Our desire is to be able to someday be able to be in the community more. Um, we'd like to be a certified kitchen where we can sell the option of the vegan cheeses and the meat substitutions. And um, it, we we have just been looking and exploring our options. We we're expecting number seven, so <laughs> we're not rushing to open up a storefront, but. Um, I think that might be our eventual goal in the end someday, is to be able to serve others healthy lunches and meals with our vegan cheeses and our meat substitutes. You can make other variations. This is a basil pesto. Um, with a little bit of smoked flavoring as well. And we're going to have it on chips and enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Very good. <laughs>